Two days before law enforcement agencies across the country were supposed to receive a warning about Russia's latest attacks on U.S. elections, internal emails exclusively obtained by ABC News show a top Homeland Security official pulled the draft report. Records show intelligence analysts at DHS determined with high confidence that the Russians were devising a scheme to promote allegations about the poor mental and physical health of former Vice President Joe Biden in an attempt to influence the 2020 elections. The bulletin also saying Chinese and Iranian state control media had also been raising questions about President Donald Trump's mental fitness. But one hour after the notice was submitted, a senior DHS official pulled it back. A spokesperson telling ABC News it failed to meet the agency's standards and that the draft report lacked the necessary context and evidence for broader dissemination outside of DHS. They added the document was delayed for further review. But almost two months later, the warning still hasn't been distributed. The bulletin citing examples like Russian-controlled news outlets claiming without evidence between September 2019 and May of this year, Joe Biden's verbal miscues or symptoms of dementia, a line of attack President Donald Trump and his campaign have used. Joe Biden does not have the strength. This Running this television ad in June, painting a dire picture of Biden's mental state. Biden is clearly diminished. A Trump campaign spokesperson telling ABC News we don't need or want any foreign interference. White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows today reacting to the ABC News report. Secretary Wolf certainly will be briefing me later today on that. I'm not aware of any specific intelligence that would be, have been supported on what was alleged in that report, but at the same time, I couldn't comment on it even if I did. All this just days after a new bipartisan report by the GOP-led Senate Intelligence Committee detailing Russia's efforts to interfere in the 2016 election and their conclusions that the Russians sought to help Donald Trump in 2016 and that Trump campaign officials sought to benefit from Russia's activities. Over the weekend, the nation's top intelligence officials citing leaks, announcing members of Congress will no longer receive in-person briefings on foreign interference in our elections, but will instead be provided with written briefings. And DHS told ABC News the agency did share three other reports on election security with local and state law enforcement. Faith Abube, ABC News, Washington.